Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we uh, have a huge pile of amplifiers to unbox uh, from Joyo. Now, uh, for everybody uh, who's going, what the hell, man, Joyo? Um, I had a chance to meet the crew at Joyo uh, while I was in Frankfurt, got to hang out with them. And actually they had some pretty cool products coming down the pipe. And um, for all of you guys say, oh, well, Chinese manufacturer, Chinese manufacturer. First off, the PV Windsor was made in China and uh, the smartphone that you're typing that complaint in about me using a chi made in China amplifier was made in China. <laughs> By the way, I've got uh, Mr. Brandon right here. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Brandon's helped out on a shit ton of videos over the last couple of years. Uh, he played on the history of distortion. Um, he's helped out with a bunch of um, demos. If you guys go check out the uh, what the Heil PR35 yeah, demo, Ax Action's Banana the Cloth. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, so let's get right to it. All right, so uh, first up, uh, we've got the Beale Street, and um, this is kind of like their take on a blues bit type of amplifier. I think I'm gonna have Christian Bay play on a demo for this in a week or two. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, Christian actually came with me to Frankfurt and was was playing uh, the Joyo booth using this amp, and he really dug it. And Christian's uh, pretty picky when it comes to guitar amps, so you know if he's digging it, you know why not? There's probably something to it. I'm not a blues amp guy at all. But uh, we'll see what we can cook up with this. So too bad we're not doing more audio gear and it'll just be a whole video of you trying to find a synonym for the word unit. <laughs> <laughs> instructions, yes. Yeah. We don't need instructions, <laughs> fuck that shit. So yes, let's take a look here at what we got. Ooh, ooh, ah. Uh, you know, um, I'll, I'll say this, I know Joy has got some really cool stuff coming up. In the, in the uh, short term, too, there's something called the Clones Amp, which is uh, going to be the world's first uh, analog modeling amp. That one's actually designed in Italy. I had a chance to try it out, and it was absolutely wicked. So what we've got here is a 12-watt tube amp. And um, what do I see here? Oh, oh, I like this. That's actually a nice touch. Uh, it's set for 115 volts, and this is a safety switch so you don't knock it off uh, to, the, to, like, European power. Nice. Let's Don't start. want us to die in a horrible electrical fire. Good idea, Joyo. <laughs> awesome. So 8 ohms, 16 ohms. Perfect. This is pretty simple stuff. Let's take a look at the front here. And okay. Wow. Bright, normal, tone, volume bright, volume normal. Standby on. Cool. Okay. So they, they really don't mess around. Very no, this, simple is, this is a very simple amp. This actually reminds me of my trainer. Yeah. I, I bet you you could jump these inputs too. Oh, if you that, want something, yeah. if you want something metal as fuck or, or uh, you know, doom metal or something like that. Anyway, we're gonna try this out in just a sec here. Okay, so yeah, this is the Beale Street. It's a 12 watt amp. It's yeah, definitely clean. And uh, we've got it set up for just a tiny little bit of dirt. Uh, Brennan, why don't you go ahead and show him, uh, give him a brief sure. overview. Sure. Like... Let's try it again. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, yeah, just a basic uh, clean amp. Actually, it's surprisingly loud. Don't let 12 watts fool you. Um, you know, the loudest amp I own is a 40 watt trainer, and that thing's just the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. But um, yeah, not bad. Um, we had it cranked up. We've got this plugged into my rev cabinet, by the way. And um, yeah, it's uh, definitely freaking loud. It's kind of peeking out the mics. We had to dial it back a little bit that way. So. There you go. That's the uh, that's the Joel Beale Street. We'll be taking a much closer look at that in the very near future. We'll have Christian Bay helping out on that. All right. Next up, we've got the Mjolnir. I think I pronounced that right. Anyway, it's named after Thor's hammer. So, any of you uh, Marvel fanatics out there, um, you know, correct me if I got the pronunciation wrong. Anyway, yeah. Let's uh, let's see what this is. This is Joyo's metal amp, and I've been really dying to try this out. I didn't even get a chance to try it out in Frankfurt. Um, I was too busy playing with the clone zamp, but that was, that was, like I said, absolutely amazing. I should be getting that in a week or two. Can't wait to demo that one. That one's just going to be revolutionary. But uh, in the meantime, oh, another box. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese dolls. Here we go. Yeah, Russian, rather. Russian dolls, yes. Oh, okay. Great. This works. I, I, I love the packaging, by the way. Like, this stuff got shipped from China, and they did the packaging right. They really did. 
And ooh, a little box here. That's what, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh, another manual. <laughs> like, pa! Let's like see. we need those. Mm. Mule here. Here. No. Okay. So this is, uh, this is. Way to go, asshole. <laughs> so this is considerably smaller than the Beale Street, which is fine. 15 watts! So, you know, this is like, basically, I think this is Joyo's answer to all the, you know, the micro heads that are out there, like the Orange Micro Terror. Yeah. And, you know, the, the PV, uh, fuck is that? Not the Piranha, the other one. Oh, uh, the 6505 MH, that kind of thing. Should be, uh, should be pretty cool. This is actually a multi-channel amp. So let's see what we got here. Let's click this over here. Look at this. We got clean, distortion, boost, and normal. That's pretty freaking cool, actually. So let's, uh, let's just kind of zero out, out the amp here. This is great. This is a two-channel lamp, and it's got all these switches and options. This is uh, pretty sick, actually. So yeah, oh yeah, it looks like there's a couple power tubes back there. So you know, some big honking transformers. Right on. This might be pretty sick, actually. Let's uh, let's hook it up and try it out, shall we? Oh, are you serious? Would you look at that? What? It comes with a foot switch. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's really good value for the money there. Holy shit, really, guys? Yeah, usually you gotta pay out the notes for a foot switch, but hey, check that out. That is great. Good going, Joyo. We'll have the prices listed up uh, for these as well as where you can find them. We'll do a full demo on this, you know, in the next week or two, but let's just try a little clean stuff here. Okay, so obviously this is not a blues amp like the Beale Street, so we're gonna get a much different kind of sound. Let's hear, uh, let's hear what we got here. Yeah. One more time. It'll it'll definitely not do the bad. trick. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Okay, a metal band that works. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, especially you know if you're a metal band, you know, or your kid in his bedroom or whatnot, you want to play metal. Yeah, this will definitely do the trick. Uh, let's check out how it does for distortion. Okay, yeah, we just kind of doubt on a real quick metal tone. Check it out, man. Okay. Yeah, now that's without any kind of boost in front of it or anything like that. Like I'm immediately hearing, um, it would probably be cleaned up a little bit with an overdrive pedal, but um, just for right out the gate, that's not freaking bad at all. Uh, give me one second. You know, sure. I, let me grab my seven. I'm kind of curious. Okay, so Brandon tried uh, playing a little mellow riff. I thought, you know, we'd pull out the Charbonneau and uh, do a little seven string stuff because, uh, yeah, you got to hear this. This is pretty snarly. Okay, that's pretty that's, wicked. Yeah, for like a doom metal tone, that's freaking sweet. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Good job, Joyo. Oh, holy smokes. <laughs> I definitely want to try this out with an overdrive in front of it. Uh, we'll see what happens here in a minute. Because I got a feeling we're going to be unboxing a whole bunch of pedals. Henning made sure to send us something, some really cool stuff. By the way, major props to Henning Polly over at HP42 Studios for helping us out um, and making sure uh, Joyo sent us some really cool stuff. Uh, if you haven't checked out his channel, please do. Henning is a righteous dude, uh, just a great guitar player and a great arranger as well, as well as being just a really cool dude to hang out with. Yeah, I've got to say, I've been listening to the Frame Shift album for the last couple of weeks with Sebastian Bach. Awesome stuff. And that's basically all Henning, except for, I think, the drums and the vocals, obviously. Next up, we've got a mystery box here from Joyo. Not sure exactly what the hell it is, but let's take a look. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be like an episode of Family Guy. You can either take the vacation or the mystery box. It's Schrodinger's box. <laughs> yeah. There's a dead cat inside. I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This is the these are the band amps. Yeah, I had a chance to uh, check these out with Henning uh, when we did that eight string demo a little while ago. And these are uh, they've got a two preamp, a little twenty watt solid state power amp. They're pretty fucking cool. So I imagine I'm going to be giving some of these away um, at some point to for a contest or two because we're definitely going to be doing more contests. We've been having way too much fun with all these but baddies, and we might do another one. So. Wow, look at all these. 
It's all the same thing. No, no, they're four different types. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So what do we got here? We get the zombie, which is like a, uh, a metal version. This is the atomic, the green one. Um, the blue jay, I have no idea what the fuck that is. And the meteor. Okay, very cool. Let's, uh, let's try the zombie. <laughs> it's like fucking, hey, collect all four. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, these are these are really cheap too. Right? Like they're not very expensive. We'll have the price oh my. stuff. Yes. Look at that. It's just puny. That's what she said. And ooh, oh, power supply. Power cable and speaker cable. Do we get anything else? Nope. That is like, man, th this should sell like crazy in Japan. You know, little little tiny cute little amp. Yeah. Yeah, when, oh yeah, make, so, them, make them pink. Check, check it out, they're, they're Bluetooth <laughs> as well. So you can like uh, uh, hook your phone up to it and use it as like as a playback system. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so pretty fucking cool. Okay, oh, it's got a built-in effects loop. Here's your power, here's your speaker out, and there's that. I can't, I can't believe it's powered like that. That's unreal. Yeah, and then, yeah, you just got three, three oh yeah, here's your Bluetooth on and on, clean, dirty, you know, your gain. Cool. And as I recall, they're not all that expensive either. So um, definitely a cool, cool little item to have. Wish I had something like this when I was, you know, 17. This would have been fucking great. Yeah. So it's like the band practice or something? Well, like... if it's loud enough, it's only 20 watts. So, and this is 20 watts solid state power. Oh, it's no. solid? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's got a tube preamp, but solid state power. So. Okay, we just dialed this in a little bit harder uh, with the gain, and we, we got to do, do another clip here because this is this is shockingly this good. This is unreal. Yeah, it's unreal. That is unreal. That's like better than anything I've heard from a certain uh, digital amp modeling company <laughs> that makes really cheap amps. Yeah. You know what? Um, I'm probably going to be getting one of those Harley Benton 1x12s, and I guarantee this is going to be a, a beast of a combo in comparison. So uh, that's going to be something we'll be checking out. Unfortunately, I don't have a spider kicking around anymore because yeah. I kind of <laughs> took a sledgehammer to it. Can we borrow yours, Brandon? Sure. Let's okay. bring it back. Let's, right, do right, let's do an AB. Honestly, we'll I think I want one of these. That, yeah, that this, is so cool. This I really is like that. very cool. Not bad. Well done, Joyo. Well done. And the last of the unboxing. The Joyo Mystery Box. <laughs> Come on, vacation to Cuba. Come on, vacation to Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for all you Americans going, what the hell? Yeah, Canadians are allowed to go to Cuba. So Henning told me this was going to be like a shit ton of pedals. So let's see what we got. Holy crap. Oh, another band champ. Oh, there we go. Which one's that? Which one is this? This is, oh, the Jackman. Jackman. Cool. This is like the British metal amp. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be fucking cool. Thanks, Henning. Thank you, Joyo. And let's see what we got here. Um, We got space verb. Oh, okay. That's going to be cool. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Look at them all. So, what do we got here? We got uh, Vintage Overdrive, so that's probably going to be our uh, OD808. Yeah. AC Tone, no idea what the hell that is. Yeah. Gate of Khan. <laughs> Noise Gate. Okay, that sounds cool. Love, yeah. The names are cool, I like them. Yeah, well, uh, Quattro, Digital Delay, awesome. Space Verb, I think we can figure out what that does. It takes you into space, right? Yeah, oh, fuck off. And the little blaster. What is this? This an overdrive? What does that say? I can't read that. It's uh, red. I'm colorblind. It's red. Oh yeah. Uh, distortion. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So um, AC tone. I'm just kind of curious also what this is. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Low uh, level drive. Okay. Cool. Very simple. Um, I've got a power. To, oh, it even takes a nine volt. Holy crap! I haven't seen that in ages. Yeah. I've got a pedal so power supply kicking around here somewhere, but yeah. Oh, nice. It's got like, you know, padding so it's not going to yep. flop around all over the place. You actually got to, you know. Phrasing. <sighs> I do like, though, that, like, yep. it's really solidly built. Yep. Well done. That's cool. Yeah, yeah I want to try the little blaster at some point, see if we get a nice Swedish death metal tone. <laughs> we'll crank everything up. To Holy shit, it's tiny. Yeah, I mean, like, that's freaking. Look it up. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> that is amazing. 
to show off how, how they work. Yeah, that's yeah. that's really There's really, the vintage overdrive right it? there. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, green. Of course. Yeah. Just True bypass. Okay, cool. Drive volume tone. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's let's hook that up on the mule. Oh, and it's got a nine volt pack. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the uh, we've got the Mjolnir back up, and uh, we've got the uh, Joyo Vintage Overdrive in place. Let's try it out. Play a riff, and we'll show. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'd be happy with that on an album. Yeah, that That's, sounds great. That does sound great. That's uh, like I said, we were playing with it uh, this a little bit earlier, and I was saying, you know, I bet you an overdrive would really tighten the front end of this amp up, and yeah, it certainly does. So there you go. That's um, not a very expensive solution uh, to having a great guitar tone. Yeah, that and a good cap. So there you go. Okay, hold on one sec. I'm gonna grab the sharp bottle. Okay, so yeah, here, here's it on a seven string. It's just that's, that's pretty pretty awesome, but it's a little slow. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Okay, so there you go. That's our little unboxing video um, featuring a whole bunch of products from Joyo. We're going to be taking a look at all the products individually. We're going to take a look at the Beale Street, do a video on that, the Mjolnir, and uh, the Bantamps. We're going to do a video on those and show off the various uh, types. And then, of course, we'll check out all the little pedals and show what they can do as well. You can find all the links to these products below. They're available at Toman, and uh, they ship worldwide, so check it out. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you like the content, please support the channel either at my SMG shop or through my Patreon. If you want to see more, hit one of the playlists. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.